The function of the mind is to create coherence between what we believe and the reality that we experience. If you believe there's a threat, the signals of threat released into the blood will prepare the cells to engage in a protection response. But the problem is this, maybe there was no real threat. The cells don't know whether it's real or not because the cells only respond to the chemicals. They don't see the real environment. So all of a sudden I say, ah, then if we believe we're under stress, we manifest stress in our physiology, even though the environment in which we live is not really promoting that. So all of a sudden we start to see that our thoughts, whether they're right or they're wrong, are actually changing our biology. Now, this idea of thoughts controlling our life is not new. Uh, 2,500 years ago, the Buddha said, what we think we become. And in fact, that is exactly the story of epigenetics today. Epigenetics is saying what you're thinking is translated into chemistry, which will determine what you will become. So 2,500 years later, Buddha is right, but now we know the mechanism. Signal plus protein equals behavior. Now I say, when the behavior is not supporting us, then we can say, ah, we are expressing a dis-ease. Now, in this equation, I say, well, what can be responsible? What can cause a disease? The beautiful part about it is there are only two things on the other side of the equation. It's either the protein or the signal can be considered the cause of disease. So I say, well, yeah, proteins can cause disease because defective proteins lead to defective functions, which then are expressed as disease. So the question is, how much of our disease is actually controlled by defective proteins? And the most amazing fact is this, that flawed genes cause less than 1% of disease. So when we go back to our chart and I say, ah, proteins can contribute to disease. And I say, well, they can contribute because defective proteins as a result of mutations or alterations of our genome, then will mislead the fate of the cells. And in that case, cells out of harmony with the world express disease. Now we're down to a very simple understanding. If only 1% of disease is related to proteins, going back to the chart says, well then, the other cause of disease must be some alteration in the signal. So I say, ah, the signal can cause up to 90% or more of disease that we experience on the planet. I say, well, how can the signal interfere with health? And I say, number one, if you experience trauma, Let's say you're in an accident and you twist your spine and you interfere with the flow of information from the nervous system to the cells, then the alteration of that interference of communication could lead to a misunderstanding by the responding cells. Uh, so what's really going on? Because the signals are altered. So trauma can cause disease by interfering with the propagation of the signals from the brain to the cells. Number two, if we put toxic elements into our body, such as the toxins that we acquire by eating industrial farm foods, toxic chemicals can engage in the signal pathway, but if they do, they don't promote a normal signal propagation. Toxic chemistry can distort the signal. So relevance is this. If the brain is sending a signal to control the cells and there's toxic chemistry in the pathway, then the signal that reaches the cells is by definition altered and therefore the behavior of the altered cells can lead to disease. Thirdly, and perhaps the most important cause of disease influencing the signal is really nothing wrong with the body at all. But what it represents is this, the influences of our thoughts. Our thoughts are what are translated into the chemistry. Now, why is this relevant? If we have a disease due to thought, it's not because the body is defective, it's because the signal is inappropriate. And this is really important because it is recognized now that our consciousness is the primary problem in the issues of health on this planet, especially as they relate to stress. And that this issue is nothing organically wrong with the body. 
It's just that we're sending inappropriate signals at an inappropriate time, which leads to inappropriate behavior, which we call disease. Sign up now on gowsim.com to watch the full presentation.